Vera, just in a nutshell, can you just take us back to the beginning? What happened here? Well, Bruno and Katie were actually working on the yacht. They were helping Peter Aldridge take Peter's yacht from Dar es Salaam to Richard's Bay for repairs. And as they were about to enter the Mozambique Madagascar Channel, 12 Somali rebels boarded the yacht and changed the yacht northbound towards Somalia. We were expecting them to reach Richard's Bay by the 11th or the 12th of November. Instead, we received a call from International Relations Office on the 5th or the 6th of November telling us that the yacht had been beached on the coast of Somalia and one of the people on the yacht, which was ended up being Peter Aldridge, escaped and um, Bruno and Debbie were taken into, into the coastland. And that is how it first started. And then we had the long wait for the pirates to actually make a call to make their demand of what it is they wanted. From the 6th of November, we heard nothing until the 14th of December. And they said, if we want to save their lives, we need to give them 10 million US dollars. It's, it's quite sh- strange where they actually picked them up because, I mean, they weren't it's so even. South. It's mm. exactly. I mean, there's Kenya, there's Tanzania. It's not the usual sort of pirate hunting ground. Yeah. Yep. Cause that's, well, this is um, the warning that I would like to convey to other yachties out there that they mustn't think it can't happen to them. These pirates are getting desperate and they're spreading further and further and they're, they're actually basing their units on islands so that they don't have to travel that far to rest or whatever. And I mean, initially the story was a sub story from the Somali pirates saying, well, you know what, you guys are coming through the Gulf here. Um, it's, it's a, fishing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And yeah. Um, and so it's having an impact on our economy. But yeah. <laughs> catching <laughs> them down in Mozambique, mm. we just know it's just uh, run by a bunch of warlords now. But um, that they've been held captive, your brother and your sister-in-law, for 15 months now. We, we've all heard about uh, the Navy SEALs going in and getting Americans. And, I mean, as, as close as three weeks ago, uh, two Americans were captured. And within two weeks, the Navy SEALs went in and extracted them. What is the South African government doing about this? Well, this is the difference between America and our South Africa, I suppose. Um, I mean, we even saw how Obama telephoned the family directly. One country, one people, and yeah, it's, we feel very, very lonely. We actually don't know what to do. Vera, this is a dreadful question to have to ask, but how do you know that your family is still alive? I've spoken to Bruno and Zeddy on the 18th of October. Vera, I just want to quickly play a clip of that conversation that you had with the terrorist. Yes, hello, Mr. Ali. I can hear. Um. Uh, can you hear me now? Yes, I can hear both of you. I can hear Bruno and I can hear um, Mr. Ali. Can I speak to Bruno? No. Hello? Hello, I'm here. Bruno? Bruno, because, Mama, let me. Because, let's talk before I tell you to talk. Okay. Vera? Yes? Now I just want you to ask you know, four questions. Four questions? And uh, how uh, about his health? This is demanding from the government, you know, when your sister is on the line, she's going to talk to you and uh, talk to her. Hi, Bruce. That's the first question, Vera. How's your health? Are you okay? Yes, my health is okay. We are, uh, I'm hungry, but other than that, we are okay. Okay. What kind of food do you get? We get, we get soup in the morning. Yes. And uh, other spaghetti or rice. Okay. Bruins, we we are trying everything we can. Government doesn't pay. We have to collect money. Bruno? Third question, who I am with? Deborah. Deborah Phillips. Deb- third question. Yes, okay. You're with Debbie Collins. Is, is she well? We both okay. Fourth question was... Um, was... Um, the government? What, are, what are demands from my government? We demand our freedom. You demand your freedom from the government. Bruins, the, the government doesn't pay. I'm trying to 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 collect money for your girl. freedom. Girl. Oh my God! Yes. Girl, 
Yes? Yeah. Yes, Mr. Ali? Give me a phone to baby too. Okay. Sorry, Prince, I love you. Okay. Hello? Hello, Hello. Divi. Um, How are you doing? Are you okay? Yeah, so far. Kerry says, I must tell you, she doesn't stop thinking of you. And you'll be home soon. You must remember how powerful your mind is. Oh, you, I'm here, sure, sure. Your mind, okay. Do you think that anyone's going to get out of here? Um, we're trying everything we can. We need to collect money. Um, we're trying to get the government to... to don't lose hope. Please, don't lose hope. Okay, we're doing everything we can. We'll get you out of there. We, you'll be home soon. We have, we have assistance and vitamins and minerals and everything. Oh, do you get them? Do you get them? No, nothing. Nothing. Oh. We're very deficient in all of them. Oh, my gosh. Oh. I do my teeth falling out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Now Vera, you've tried to make contact with them since that. Explain what happened there. I said, Mr. Ali, please can you let me speak to them so I can re record it and put it on the telephone. And Vera, I must say, it was heartbreaking hearing you ask them. Mr. Ali, I'm worried about my brother and his wife. Today is my birthday. Please can, can you, please can I talk to them? Please. Bruno has got two older sisters and three younger sisters. He's got five sisters. And it's my birthday today and I wanted to ask you and I wanted to ask you, please can I speak to my brother today? Please can you help me speak to your to your people and make it easier for me to get my brother home? Mr. Ali? No, I just wanted to ask if I could get to speak to Bruno and Debbie. If you speak to Bruno and Debbie, please tell them that we love them and we're trying everything we can. Bye. So you have got to raise this money now and um, I see that there was a Danish couple that was rescued family. a Danish family they, they they came up with the ransom money mm. yes. handed it over and they got the people back so six months the, later yes and they were allowed to collect straight away where we have been denied you know it was advised by the government that we do not collect straight away because if they hear of collections then they'll hold them longer but it's been the opposite. They will not release them without a payment. And how often do you call them? They give me a missed call and I have to phone them back. It was every week and then it went to every two weeks. Now it's down to like every three weeks. Mm. You have to raise this, this ransom money, which is, again, well, what is it now? Because I know it's gone up and down a few times. Yeah, um, I had it down to half a million in March and then there was an intervention in my negotiation. And it went back to four million. Mm. Um, but US I, dollars. US dollars. US dollars, four million US dollars. But I'm convinced that if I get to say between a hundred and two hundred thousand US dollars, that they will call it a day. You know, it's a very delicate situation. Dr. Suleiman is there with the gift of the givers, and it, he's also trying to get in touch with the people actually holding Bruno and Debbie. And he believes that he's got it down to one million US dollars on that side. Vera, how do you? This has been fifteen months. How do you carry on every single day? How do you keep sane? Um, not easily. Um, I can tell you, my life at home has never been the same since that phone call. Shame. <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't, don't, don't be sorry, Vera. <laughs> it is very difficult. I mean, at work, I have to, I have to keep a straight face. Um, and um, at home, it's just all falling apart. I mean, I wasn't putting chemicals in the pool, and uh, the boundary wall is falling down. <laughs> I just don't care. 
Yeah, yeah. I, and you probably think, well, how can I go about doing my day-to-day -day activities mm. while your brother is holed up in what conditions you, you have, you have yeah. no idea about? At gunpoint. They are constantly at gunpoint. Mm. What you really need is some donations. How can people put money in your bank account? There's banking details on the website. SOS Bruno Debbie.co.za. We'll put those that, that address mm. up on our Facebook page, on our website. We'll put it everywhere. And there's also the SMS campaign that we have going for the public that would like mm. to donate 10 rand in SMS. Is you just you SMS SOS to 38417. 38? Four one seven. Hold on, I'm just SMSing You're right now. S O S. Okay, guys, can everybody just please send an SMS in the studio? Totally. Let's go. Okay. Sorry. We're just busy sending SMSs, Vera. Just hang on there. Okay. Three eight four one seven. S O S. And I thought it would be an easier way to mm. get. All of South Africans to stand together to save our two South Africans. Mm. Um, but to get the word out there is extremely difficult. Yeah. Well, I've just received a, a response saying, Contribution yeah. received with heartfelt gratitude from families of Bruno and Debbie. With your aid, the light at the end of the tunnel shines brighter. Thank you. Those are the words of my sister, Nora. <laughs> Shame. Well, in the traffic right now, if you can just SMS, SOS to 384. Four one seven. Okay, uh, Vera, we're going to keep in touch with you and see what help we can provide to you and your family. Thanks very much, Darren. Thanks, Darren. That's a pleasure. Okay, bye. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Okay, you too.